Hey guys, how are you? David DeFranco here from DeFrancoHosting.com. I am in the process of booting into OS X Mountain Lion. I hope so anyway. It's taken a while, but... Ooh! This is a good sign. Ooh! Okay, first of all, let me explain what I did. Now, as you know, I have a Mac Pro 2006. Unfortunately, it's not officially supported. I tried to download it. It wouldn't even let me download. So that pretty much says I'm screwed. And no, I'm not going to do any workarounds right now. I just... I can't risk messing things up because I have all these video projects going on. Anyway, I've been over that already. So, I wanted to create a bootable DVD. Unfortunately, I cannot because I don't have any dual layer discs. You need a dual layer disc. It, a, uh, disc. it will not work on single layer disc. I can confirm that. Uh, but, that's okay because I always have options. This is my option right here. My iPod 5th generation which up until now I've always used for data storage for work purposes to transfer video files between computers for whatever reason and just for backup purposes um, and it's 60 gigabyte plenty of space so I found an excellent article over at PCWorld.com is that ironic or what? or no it was at CNET I think it's PC World it doesn't really matter either way the point is Excellent article. Um, I will link you guys below, just like everything else in my life, um, to Twitter, Facebook, whatever. But this is an awesome article. It basically tells you how to create your own bootable partition using a flash drive or external drive or anything like that. And the old iPods technically do classify as a hard drive. Actually, the iPod Classic still does because it uses a little mini hard drive. Um, but long story short, I wiped out my iPod, unfortunately that's required when you create a partition, uh, but I did back up everything on my Mac Pro, so as soon as this is done, I'm going to put this right back where it was, uh, because this is to the point where iTunes doesn't even, I mean, it doesn't even know what it is, it's just, it tries to look at it and the error message comes up, but it doesn't matter because I have the uh, bootable partition on here. You know what, I'm not even going to talk anymore, just read the link below and I promise you, this does work. I mean, it took a couple tries because I had an error the first time, but it worked. Um, I reached out on my Mac, I held down the option key to boot into a drive of my choice, and I chose this. So, to make this video more interesting, let's turn the camera to the screen and watch the process. And yeah, that clicking you hear in the background is my lunch. The oven likes to click when it's cooking. I don't know. Alright, so as you can see, this is my MacBook Pro. It's not the best angle, but it's better than nothing at this point. Uh, so I'm going to go into Disk Utility. It takes a little while to load because, again, it's loading off this iPod. It's not the fastest hard drive in the world. Continue. Now, as you know, maybe you do know or maybe you don't know, I am a clean install kind of person. I always like to start from scratch no matter what, and that's just what I will be doing. Yeah, as you can see, it's not the fastest loading thing in the world, but it's better than not installing it at all. Uh, so, let's, that's my Nexus 7 going off, let's format the hard drive. This is always scary, but I always like to rename it Macintosh HD. Security options, I'm not going to zero out the data or anything. It's just going to do a basic erase. Let me think about this before I move forward. Yeah, I don't have anything important on here. Erase. And now what this is doing, it's erasing the internal drive of the MacBook Pro, but using my iPod. Because you obviously cannot erase your primary drive while you're using it. So I'm technically running everything off my iPod right now, which is pretty cool if you think about it. I mean, it's nothing new, but it's one of those things that still fascinates me. And reinstall OS X. It's interesting that it says reinstall, not install. But as long as it installs Mountain Lion, that's all I care about. There it goes. Continue. Agree. You know what? Let me Instagram this in real time. I won't bore you guys with the caption process. I'll caption it after the video. Hopefully that doesn't move. Instagram has a weird bug where if you move the camera too quickly... Okay, that's good. Select the disk where you want to install OS X, obviously Macintosh HD. That's my primary. It is just a regular hard drive, by the way. It's not an SSD, so it's definitely a little slow. 
Okay, preparing to install, your computer will restart automatically. And there you go. So I guess I'll see you guys after the cut. This is what I will be doing while I wait for OSN Mountain Lion to install. Eating some potato skins. And by the way, we have 15 minutes remaining. And that's really not that bad. We are almost there, guys. We are almost there. Two minutes remaining. Although, geez, I do love Gatorade. Although, it was stuck on four minutes for like 10 minutes. So I was getting a little scared there. But it's almost done. Let's freaking celebrate. Now, it should restart automatically. So let's just sit back and watch in real time, shall we? Do, 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 do. Yay! Alright, let's see what the deal is here. I can't do anything, but it should restart. Yep, there it goes. Come on, give me a bong. Oh, jeez. Oh. Thank you. Thank you. You. Whoop. Wrong way. This iPod is a lifesaver. I will create a bootable DVD eventually. I just gotta get dual layer discs. But we're almost there, guys. Then I'll close up the video. That's a good sign. And there's the cursor. Installing. Oh, now it actually has to install. That's right, it was preparing the install. Well, if that took a while, then this is gonna take a while. Okay. May the video continue. Hey, I gotta do something on the way, right? Might as well do the dishes because God knows I'm building up like a mother. I tend to not care after a while, but then I'm like, you know what? This looks like crap. I have time to kill. Well, I know what Photoshop work to do. Right. Hey, at least you guys get a little sneak peek at my kitchen, right? By the way, the house tour is coming soon, don't worry. I'm just in the process of getting other things done. So it's cute, it's cute. All right, dishes are done. Good news. Look what came. A pillow. Now, although you could technically use it as a pillow, this is acoustic foam, acoustic sound foam, whatever you want to call it. Uh, but basically what this will do is absorb some sound in my office. My lips look really red. Gatorade. And hopefully diminish the echo a little bit, slash reverb, whatever you want to call it. But this isn't my only solution. I also ordered like a little egg chair off Target.com. I just could have gone get it myself at this point. It's not going to be here until Monday. That's what I get for not ordering from Amazon. But Amazon didn't have it. I, I cannot stress enough how, all, how just awesome Amazon is. A Amazon is just... Anyway, I'm not going to waste your time with that. But I have an egg chair coming that will absorb sound too. I have this going up. And then I have maybe another area rug. Like a new area rug. And that my old one is in my bedroom, which is right behind this camera. But let's just see what this looks like. I'm actually really, really excited about this. Uh, apparently, I have to let it sit out for 24 hours once I unroll it. It comes with adhesives to obviously put on the wall, put that aside. This is really cool. I've never owned acoustic sound foam before. Pretty sweet. I'm interested to see how big they really are. I mean, it's set online, but it's different when you see it in person. All right, let's just do one for now. Really sick. It doesn't smell bad. Yes, I'm smelling it, because I've seen people on Amazon say that others smell, but again, I mean, th this wasn't from Amazon, by the way. This was from uh, Sonic Homework from Chicago, Illinois. 
Somebody actually linked me on Facebook. I forget who it was, but thank you. You know who you are. Three minutes remaining. Insulation process. Holy crap. Yes. They are big. That is awesome. I'm like pleasantly surprised because it's not two pieces, but four pieces. Oh my God, guys. This is going to be sweet. Okay. Let me set this aside. We'll finish the installation video and then I'll do a future video on these. But here, I'll give you a close up real quick. Basically like little prisms, like little tiny pyramids. Pretty cool. Hello! 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 Yeah, I, I can definitely hear, obviously I'm holding it in my face, but pretty cool. Ooh, I'm excited. And I just can't hide it. I won't dance. And there you go guys, a quick preview of the acoustic sound foam, which again you will see in a future video. Meanwhile, Mountain Lion is finally done installing. He's talking. If you know how to use voiceover, press Command F5 now to... I'm good, I'm good. To Franco Media Headquarters, that's my Wi-Fi. Password is in. The fans are kicking, by the way. Transfer information, no. But it does give you the options of from another Mac, from a Windows PC, which is awesome for switchers, or from another disk. But I'm doing that now. Enable location services, hell yeah. Apple ID, signed in. Terms and conditions, nobody reads that, but I do love that South Park episode. Set up iCloud, hell yeah. This is pretty exciting, find my Mac. The only thing that sucks is that I, I, I can't use this on my main machine. That's the only thing that sucks. But that's okay. This is better than nothing. David Franco Jr. Account name, just David. I am not in LA, am I? No. No. Fine, I'll do it myself. Philadelphia. There you go. Good old Philly. Keep me up to date with Apple News. No, thank you. But I will register. Okay, start using my Mac. Here it comes. I'm actually really excited to see the new dock. Ooh. The background actually looks like it's moving. It's kind of cool. It's not, but it's kind of like an illusion. Holy crap. It actually looks like it's moving. Maybe it's just me. All right, all right. Nice new dock. It's not as reflective, which I think is a good thing. It's more of a diffused reflection. I know, I know, man. I paused in recovery mode. That's because I formatted the crap out of it. But pretty cool. Now, this isn't a multi-touch uh, trackpad, but notification center is over here on the right. Sweet. No new, no, no new notifications, obviously. It just started. But you can do your settings down here, it looks like. Yep, it's going to open system preferences. It's not the fastest Mac in the world, but... All right, here we go. Cool. So I can change the um, alert style, just like on iOS, which I love, by the way. I love that the two worlds are merging. But again, I cannot stress this enough. Apple, in my opinion, is doing it the smarter way than Microsoft is. I don't, I don't hate Windows or anything. It's just Apple's very smart. Oh, there you go. Snooze that. Snooze it. Pretty cool. Uh, but what I mean is Apple is slowly integrating iOS-specific features and visual elements into OS X and vice versa. So the worlds are slowly merging, which is a good thing. But Apple's smart about it. They're not going to throw anything in, the, in, your, in your face like uh, Microsoft is doing with Windows 8. Not that I dislike Windows 8, but I just thought to give it a try. Okay, cool. The uh, new Safari is running. I cannot airplay on this Mac, unfortunately, because it's not just it's just not up to standards. But there you go, guys. Now, I'm going to go explore. But, of course, as always, guys, thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed. I realize this wasn't the most exciting installation video, but... To me, it is, and you know what? That's all I care about because I love this stuff. I have fun. The only thing that sucks about it is, again, I cannot install it on my Mac Pro. Yes, there might be hacks. I've seen articles, you know, shared to me via Twitter or whatever. Um, ooh, speaking of share, I'm looking really forward to
to use you on the different sharing options on Mountain Lion. I'm a big fan of that kind of stuff. And yes, I realized I looked like crap. I was up all night with a friend uh, watching movies. I didn't go to bed till like 8.30 in the morning. But good times, good times. I'm always up late anyway. Okay, guys, I shall let you go. Again, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for your support. Thank you for your likes. If you do like this video, please prove that by clicking that big old thumbs up right below the video. I really do appreciate it. And I'll see you guys next time.